The coronavirus pandemic has left a trail of destruction in the U.S. and around the world. But in addition to the high death rates and sagging economies, it's also having a significant impact on mental health. As CBS News reports, experts and officials have raised concerns about how this crisis can affect people struggling with mental health issues and addiction. A recent poll conducted by the Kaiser Family Foundation found 56 percent of U.S. adults say that worry or stress due to the pandemic has affected their mental health. CBS News political reporter Grace Seegers wrote that piece and joins me now. You know, Grace, there really has been this stigma, and I'm really glad we're talking about this right now. First of all, what are the mental health experts most concerned about, and what advice are they giving to people who are struggling? So this is a really hard time for everybody, but it's especially difficult for people with pre-existing mental health conditions. And what experts say is the biggest issue is the uncertainty about the future and how people feel as if they don't have control over what's going to happen next. So experts recommend making sure you have a routine every day that you follow, taking care of your body, eating well, but most importantly is making sure that you're not isolated socially. Because of these social distancing rules, a lot of people feel as if they're alone. So it's really important to maintain social connections. And Grace, you spoke with the executive director of the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. Has there been an increase in the number of calls during this outbreak? Interestingly, the executive director, Dr. John Draper, said that there hasn't necessarily been increase in calls for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, but he said that there has been increase in calls to the Disaster Distress Helpline, which is uh, administered by the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. And he said that that service has seen a massive uptick in calls. And that service is for people who are suffering in the wake of natural or human caused disasters. And right now we're living in the middle of that. Absolutely. Well, a few weeks ago, a top ER doctor who treated many coronavirus patients in New York City died by suicide. What are the unique mental health challenges that frontline workers especially are facing? Well, it's incredibly difficult for frontline workers because they're the ones who are going into hospitals and seeing the devastation day in and day out. They're working extremely long hours. They're seeing inexplicable symptoms and a lot of death. So it's really important for them to have the resources available to take care of their own mental health, because this is a difficult time for everybody, but it's especially difficult for those who are taking care of others and seeing so much death. And there is a new social media campaign called the How Are You Really Challenge. How does opening up about mental health issues reduce that stigma? It's actually incredibly important because mental health issues have for so long been considered a taboo subject. And now that everyone is pretty much stuck inside and we're all feeling this sense of depression and even loneliness, it's really important to reach out, speak out and share what you are feeling because that helps other people feel like they aren't so alone. And that's especially true for people with specific mental health issues to say, I'm struggling with depression, I'm struggling with anxiety. And to say that if you're feeling this way, you're not alone. And so I think that's really an important campaign that's happening. Right. Such an important message, really, for everyone at this time. Grace Seegers, uh, really important reporting. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Thank you. And if you or someone you know is thinking about suicide and needs help, you can call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255 or visit their website, suicidepreventionlifeline.org.